Enameling requires several tools and specialized techniques. In this tool demo, learn new ways to create beautiful and vibrant creations with the right equipment. Line sifters are specifically designed to sift a very fine line of enamel. This allows you to create intricate and unique designs in a variety of colors. To use the line sifter, you pour your enamel in the top and slowly the enamel powder is sifted out the bottom. Once loaded, handle the line sifter very carefully so you don't spill any enamels. When you're ready to use, turn upright. Run your fingernail over the handle to create subtle vibration and the enamel powder will pour out the bottom. From here, you can create dots, lines, swirls, and more. For best results, 80 mesh or smaller enamel particles should be used. We also offer a stainless steel 200 mesh screen bowl set. The bowl works great because it keeps your enamel right where you need it. These pieces work together to sift and capture your enamels. To use, simply place the mesh screen on top of the tray and press down lightly. You can add your enamel right from the jar. Your enamel powder will need to be forced through the mesh screen. Here, I'm using a plastic spoon, but a coin also works great for this. Be sure to wear your mask whenever you sift any enamels. When finished screening, pull apart the two pieces. The bottom tray has captured all the fine enamel powder. You can see here the difference in the two powders. Now you're ready to start creating. Stainless steel wire mesh racks work great for moving work in and out of the kiln. CoolTools offers two different grates for easy handling, which work great with trivets. They come flat, so they'll need to be formed into a table. A number of tools can be used for this, but I find the easiest way is to use a steel bench block. Place the wire rack over the edge of the bench block and use a nylon hammer to bend it into a 90 degree angle. Turn the rack upright to finish off the bend. When that side is complete, repeat this process on the reverse side. When the second bend is complete, make sure that everything is level, and now you have a firing rack to hold trivets, enameled pieces, and more. Our smaller enameling fork is specifically designed to fit firing racks for enameling projects. This makes it simple to transport your pieces in and out of the kiln. Our PMC Gold Marking Pen is a pre-filled disposable pen for decorating on enamels, glass, metals, and ceramics. It works just like a paint pen and dispenses precious metal clay on your piece. Simply dab the end of the pen to start the flow and soak the tip. From here, you can create any design you wish. The PMC Gold Marking Pen makes it easy to create customizable designs on any piece. When completed, fire your piece at 1300 degrees. Firing your enamels is the most important part of enameling. If you take your piece out too early, your enamels will still be grainy. If you leave your piece in too long, you can burn them and lose your color. You will lose heat when opening the door, so quickly place your piece in the kiln and close the door. This kiln features a small bead door, which makes it easy to place your piece in the kiln without losing much heat. Enamels fuse between 1400 and 1500 degrees. 
Your kiln will need to be hot when adding your enamels, so I set my Paragon SC2 to 1450. As long as your temperature stays above 1400 degrees after inserting your piece, your enamels will still fuse properly. Time the firing for two minutes and open the door to check your piece. Be sure to wear your IR safety glasses to protect your eyes. If your enamel is fused, remove from the kiln with your tongs or firing fork. If not, close the door and time for another minute. After you're done firing, let your piece cool and begin finishing. You can also fire your pieces in an ultralight kiln, on a gas stovetop, and torch fire. Torch firing can be somewhat tricky. Set your piece on the rack and turn your torch on. Move your torch in a circular pattern around the underside of the piece. I'm using red enamel, which temporarily turns black during firing. Don't be alarmed, the original red coloration will return. You'll need to watch two things, the fusing of the enamel and the color of your metal. Do not allow your metal to get any brighter than a pale pink. If it starts to turn orange, back the torch off. When your enamel reaches a smooth, glossy finish, let it cool. As seen here in this two minute time lapse video, the original red hue returns. Visit our learning center at www.cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, contests, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.